Good morning. Today we are doing the best of 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And we are on number 17. And today I will be scrapbooking my youngest granddaughter, Skylar. And she was a flower girl in a wedding and this is where they were staying and she was looking out the window. And the page, the person who made the sketch is Laura Rumble again. And this one she did for Lottie Loves Paper. And it's got a photo and their photos um, th two by three, but mine is, oh, it must be what, about five by five or something. And um, then it's got like maybe stitches and butterflies and gems. So I am doing something similar. Um, I'm using this paper here and I was actually looking for something else and I found this and I thought oh, I could do that picture of Skylar on that. So um, I took, the whole page was like covered with this. But I just took out the ones that I wanted and I'll save this for something else. I love this because it looks like hankies. You know, I like them almost as much as doilies. Oh, it just depends. <laughs> I'll tell you, I would love like a banner of that hanging in the um, room that I have for the girls to stay in. I think it's so pretty. So I picked three of the banners. And this one here, it, it was... Like the banners were two by two. So um, anyhow, this one's cut off. So where I put her photo, I'm going to put, um, cut off a piece of that. So I'm gonna put it about like that, I think. That's, cause I'm just kind of lining it up like it was on that, on the paper itself. So the ends are laying correctly. And because she is, facing this way where um, Laura has hers facing to the left. I'm going to have her facing to the right. So I'm going to put these down first. And I'll put more glue when, when I'm done filming. Is it still called filming when it's digital? That's my question for today. <laughs> okay. So did I have it about here? <laughs> I wish, I wish there, I wish we could all hear each other. And so for I don't think I could do one of those videos where um, it's live. I don't know. Maybe someday. Okay. So now. Her picture is going to be about here, so if I take this one out, that should be safe. And I have a hundred scissors. Now if I can just get one that's right next to me. Oh, and this one I need to clean because I've been cutting the dimensionals with it and now it's like so stuck. Okay, so I'm going to save that for that end. Oh, I forgot to tell you about my paper. <laughs> this is a textured pink paper, and I think I probably bought it at Hobby Lobby because, you know, I have lots of granddaughters. I go through a lot of pink, especially when you have a couple girls. Well, especially um, Alex, where she thinks that nobody should have pink but her, and everything should be pink for her. <laughs> Okay, so I was just ready to get this done because <laughs> I think it's adorable. Okay, and so I'm going to put this over here. Now when I cut it, I left a little white edge 
just because otherwise I figured it would be kind of a mess. I think I'm going to trim just a little bit more of this off. I'm just like cutting into the scallop where I didn't really cut into the scallop when I was cutting it out. But I'm going to do that now. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. And then we're going to put, oh, let me do my papers. This is actually from a summer line. And it's got the yellow behind there. And I'm thinking it's from that, um, one, well, one of the Lori Whitlocks because um, that was the two papers I was using previously. And so the paper is from that, the white paper. And then the pink is just a Hobby Lobby paper. And I think this needs to be up a little bit. It just looks too straight. And maybe I need to pull it over a little bit more. Luckily, this um, textured pink is kind of easy to pull that up. I think that's better. Okay, let me see how this is now. Whoops, I don't want to tape down my sketch. I might want to use that again. Okay, so I think that looks good there. And maybe I'll put her up on some dimensionals. Or let's see, I got a piece of that. Do I have a big enough piece of that? Not now. Oh, yeah, that might do it. Okay. down gently and then um, find my invisible ruler and make sure she's lined up okay that should be good there and then um, her title is also in amongst the like butterfly trails, that's what I'm going to call them. So I'm going to put mine in amongst the hankies and probably start about here. And since I only have one word, it shouldn't take too long. So I'm going to go ahead and put them down. And these are some that I'll end up after I am done filming. A recording maybe that's what it's called now recording I will have to glue them down because you know they do not stick the whole thing is the sticking is all an illusion <laughs> let me see if I can kind of line this up with my word and see if it's right because I know I can't now that I put her up on dimensionals there's no way that my t-square is gonna land there well, I can almost see the texture in the, in the, well actually I can see the texture in the paper. I could almost line it up with that line. I thought this is so cute and it reminded me there's like um, a photo called, I think it's called Stargazer. I think it's a little girl looking out a window and boy those do not want to stick to that paper at all and um the, the photo's called stargazer and that's just what reminds me of that picture okay and i've got these flowers by minte and they are from floral book one or flora book one and I'm just using one branch and two flowers. Okay. 
and my tape did not want to quit when I wanted it to, so now I gotta tuck it all in. <laughs> okay. That little piece ain't gonna matter. Okay, and I'm gonna stick that right here. And I am going to have to stick a little dimensional right underneath that too. And I know I have them, there they are. And I think I might need the bigger ones. I usually like the ones that are kind of low profile. But because I put that other underneath there, I know I'm gonna have to use a little thicker ones. And I got them totally in the wrong place. Let me try it again. Okay. Are these from, these might be from Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure. I've had them for a long time. Because I, I decided I didn't like them and now I just have them. <laughs> but every now and then they're what you need. I don't know, it still seems like it's kind of high. Okay, but I'm going to go with it. And then um, these two flowers I'm actually going to put right on top of that. Land, kind of just clustering it on top of the leaves that I put there. Let me slide it over just a little bit because I don't want to see the bottom of the stem, just the other leaves. Okay, and I think I could still put a dimensional right back there now that I got the flower in there. And they're sticking to my nails. And where is my tweezers? There they are. I think I'm going to need them. I told you how I, I have tweezers that are like scrapbook tweezers or, you know, crafter's tweezers. But um, my favorite ones are like these really flat ones. And um, I thought they were $2 when I bought them at the grocery store, but they were 4 But I still love them in spite of how they were more expensive than what I thought. <laughs> I'll tell you, one time I bought these ones um, for the my girls that looked like little ladies and they were so adorable and anyhow when um they were just dollar piece and they were super skinny like that too and i and i loved them and i just hated it that i didn't buy myself one okay now i've got the um the paper from jen hatfield and you've seen this in Oh, I can't even find the papers. Oh, you've seen this in my um, making page kits from the Jen Hatfield. And this was, I have two of these papers. I still have one full one, I think. And then this one, and I was throwing, you know, three in each in just about everything I made. <laughs> but I'm going to use them again in this because they're like the perfect color. It's like, who doesn't love a full sheet of embellishments I mean sign me up okay so I'm gonna put one here and I'm just gonna kind of scatter them around like she did and I'll probably end up putting dimensionals underneath them when I I don't know that doesn't <laughs> the glue is even not very cooperative with that paper but I love the paper I love the paper I'll just try to put a little extra. And then I'm going to put one right on here on the flower. And I guess I'll just lay it there. I think it will eventually stick. And then I'm just going to spread them around just like on Laura's sketch. And I'm trying to make them look random. As random as, you know, <laughs> somebody who's planning random can make it look. <laughs> and 
it's planned random. Okay, so I'm gonna pull one down here. Ah, or not, I'm, I can't even let go of it. <laughs> Um, I've seen some neat butterflies that I want to document too and some animals from our that you know we see in our yard because of how we're backed up against um, kind of a wooded area and then I'm going to put another one not on the the hanky clothesline okay and I've got some little white enamel dots I'm going to put on here, if I can shut my glue, and I can, I can, okay. So I'm just going to use some white dots because I didn't have any pink ones that were, well actually I just think the white will actually look the best anyway. So maybe I'll stick one down here, and hopefully they stick to this paper. I need some more white enamel dots there. I know I use all different colors when I <laughs> when I put them down, but I love the white ones. Oh, if I can just it's stuck to my nail. I need to redo them. They look bad. Okay. And then I'm going to put a few kind of amidst the butterflies. Maybe if I can pick them up. Maybe I should use that pick rocker. Will that help? Yes or no? Oh, it always comes apart on me. Oh yeah, I'm just having one of those days. Nope, I'm not even going to get it open. Okay. I'll have to have the husband do it when he gets home. My husband came home last night and he's like, oh, i got to show you this video. I was like, what is it? And it was him and one of the guys at work. <laughs> Arm wrestling. And when they started out, one of his, uh, they, they were on a lunch break, so he wasn't supposed to be working at that time. But um, anyhow, one of his other workmates that was on, that was watching, I guess the guy filming, he goes, he told the other guy, he says, be careful, you might break his arm. <laughs> he says, his old arm. And it wasn't long and my husband took him down. Yay, way to go hubby. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Because he called him the old guy and he was the one who won. Oh, I want one by that one, but maybe not. Okay. Let's see, what do I got here? I kind of want to, you know, uh, got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Does that mean I should quit? I should quit. Okay, so there you have it, Skylar and the Laura Rumble sketch, and I love it. So this is day 17, and I will see you tomorrow with sketch number 18. And remember, if you like it, give it a like, and subscribe if you haven't, and I will show close-ups at the end. Bye-bye.